Meet Sarah and Jason Keith, their kids Millie and Amy, and their one-year-old Patterdale Terrier Lottie. Sarah rescued Lottie from terrible conditions at a puppy farm. Oh, Stop! Lottie! Six months on, it's Sarah and Jason who need rescuing from their spinning, jumping, garden wrecking, tear away terrier. Stop! Lottie! Lottie, come here! The Keiths weren't planning on getting a dog, but when Sarah discovered abandoned Lottie, she simply couldn't help herself. They pulled out Lottie, who was thin, she smelt, she was straggly, and I couldn't have left her there. But with such a difficult past, Lottie's growing up to be a right little rebel, who jumps at everyone. Lottie, no! No, I'm sorry. And everything. Gets herself in a terrible spin, She's in cuckoo land. Absolute cuckoo land. And Oi. legs it at every Lottie. opportunity. Lottie! Lottie! <whistles> Lottie! I want a nice family dog. I want a nice family dog to take for a nice family walk, and we haven't got one. Oh, Jesus. She's bleeding. With nearly two and a half million road accidents caused by dogs in the UK, Lottie's instinct to run away is a real concern. Lottie! <whistles> And even when they do get her home, she destroys Jason's pride and joy, his garden. I've put an extreme amount of work into it, literally back-breaking. The lawn was £200, plants and shrubs was probably another £300. There's no way I want to go spending more money just for this to happen. I reckon we spent about a grand in total. It's just no let-up on it. It's one thing after another. He's livid. He hates it. So he goes to work leaving a beautiful garden behind. He comes back to work next day with holes dug in it. I give up. I just absolutely give up now. Why, why, why put any more effort into something that's just going to keep being torn apart? The dog's got to go. But Sarah isn't letting Lottie go anywhere. <laughs> She's not going. The arguments can continue. And if you can let down a two-year-old and a seven-year-old, but you're a stronger man I know, than I am. But if she's going to keep doing this, what do you want to do? Sarah's short-term solution is simple. Lie. We don't tell Jason about that bit. If she's dug a hole and I've managed to cover it sufficiently, he needn't know that there was a hole there. Jason's answer is to give Loopy Lottie to the dog's home. Come here! I'm fed up with this dog now. Don't want it no more. Get rid of the dog. With Lottie's owners so divided on her future, can dog trainer Victoria Stilwell bring some harmony to the household? Allowing your dog to divide your household is madness. Rowing over your dog is not just going to make you unhappy. Without a united front, it's going to make your dog's behavior a lot worse. It's a vicious circle that has to be broken. Before Victoria lays down the law to Lottie, she'll spend the day observing her behavior. But Naughty Lottie's got other ideas. Who's that? In, 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 in. <laughs> OK. All right. Wait a second. There you go. Okay. Oh, good girl. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to Hello. meet you. Well, that was an escape, wasn't it? <laughs> Hello. All right. We're lucky she wasn't halfway down the well, road. Yeah, oh, my sure. gosh. Once safely inside, Lottie <laughs> jumps at the chance to get to know Victoria. Great. Well, that's a very excited uh, welcome. <laughs> um. Victoria decides to take charge. Okay. You've got a terrier. I know. I know. You've got a Patterdale terrier. And that means a hound with a whole lot of energy. Patterdale Terriers are working dogs, bred to be fox and rat hunters. They're designed to run and they have a natural burrowing instinct. They're highly intelligent and very obedient when trained, but they can be incredibly high energy. Lottie's so high energy, she regularly resembles a canine Catherine wheel. How long will she spend spinning like that? Um... 
They could be 10, anything until something 20 else minutes attracts until her something attention. Else. It's all very quite random. She can go on and on and on and get herself really excited, whereas always she's sort of flipping and spinning. Right. Um, and obviously, I, I've got two, two children. I can't be on her every time she does it. No. Lottie's behaviour may seem a little bit bizarre, but I also do think uh, it's a product of the terrible start she had in life. Um, and it's a thing that she does to relieve stress and expend excess energy. What we have to do is to find a way of channeling that energy into something more constructive. At the moment, any energy the whirling dervish has left is channeled straight into Jason's lawn, and he's had enough. I'm angry that um, like I, said, I spent so much time and hard work out here and it's just all gone to waste. Okay. So that really annoys me. I want Jason yeah. to enjoy Lottie. I want Jason to see what sort of a dog she really can be. I can see it. Mm. Jason just sees the hyperactive go, go, go. Mm. So I want to prove to Jason that Lottie can be a lovely dog mm. and she is a lovely dog. Uh, I can tell when a dog's not happy. And um, I haven't seen any signs yet that this dog is not happy. Okay? Good. Hey, it's okay. I know when you bring, you know, you found her, I know. You rescued her from a horrible situation. And now look what life she's got. Sure, sure. Oh, my I'm God. glad she's happy. It's lovely to hear that she's happy. I'm glad these problems she's having isn't because she's stressed or she's unhappy or she's bored. I'm glad she's happy. As Lottie's behaviour at home is so extreme, Victoria's keen to see what she's like in the great outdoors. Do you want to let her off, then? Yeah. Yeah, Lottie. Wait. It isn't long Lottie. before Lottie gives everyone Lottie. the slip. Lottie! Lottie! Lottie, come on! Lottie! Come here! Whoops, we've lost Lottie, the dog. Come on. How long would you have to wait um, before she would come back to you? 20 minutes, half hour, an hour, hour and a half? Depends how she's feeling and what He's she's doing. He's actually called me and I've it was getting near dark one time to come and get her. Lottie! Oh, Lottie, what's this? Lottie, come on. Lottie! Oh, we found her again. It's OK. We've got over here. This is probably one of the worst cases of recall that I've seen, particularly because um, I think it's, it's actually quite dangerous. Even though we're in the forest, there are roads around here and um, she does run off very far. Victoria thinks the only way Lottie will ever cooperate with Sarah and Jason is to get them both working together. I don't think you can even begin training a dog until you really understand what makes your dog tick. This dog didn't have balance or structure in her life for the first six, seven, eight months mm. of her life. Um, and that's now what she needs is structure for both of you. But I think you, Jason, if you want more response from this dog, you are going to have to put in more time. More input, I'm sure. Yeah. We need to walk Lottie together. Mm -hmm. Not just me, me, me all the time. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You know, if the first six months of your life were spent like she spent her life, you might be pretty messed up too. Yeah, sure. This dog has, deserves a chance. <laughs> Jason has threatened to get rid of Lottie before. I'm fed up with this dog now. Don't want it no more. Get rid of the dog. Victoria hopes a visit to the local rescue centre will convince Jason to work with Sarah rather than abandon Lottie. Now, thank goodness there are rehoming centres, because if there weren't, then all the dogs, the unwanted dogs, would be stray on the street. I think it's especially important for you, Jason, just to realise and open your mind that dogs aren't disposable property. It's all too much for Sarah. But what about Jason? Could he really say goodbye to Lottie now? How do you feel seeing that? Especially you, Jason, how do you feel? It's not particularly pleasant, really. It's not, it's not nice to see that. But much well, I wouldn't like to think of Lottie. In that environment, sure. Oh, no. She won't be going there. 
With Jason now fully on board, Victoria can start training Lottie. Back. Back. Hello. And first priority, door manners. Each time I've come into this house, I've had to literally stop her from running out. Oh. Oops! Oh, goodness. She could so easily get run over. Um, and I think this is one way that you can start controlling her. Wait. Wait. Back. Lottie will only receive a piece of chicken when she sits quietly and allows Back. visitors to enter the house without jumping Back. up. Sit. Sit. Wait. Wait. Lottie soon falls under Victoria's spell. Wait. Wait. Good girl, good girl. So now I'm going to get you to do this. <laughs> this will be interesting. Come on, back. Lottie, back. Come on. Wait, back. Wait. 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 Armed with Victoria's techniques, Jason Good. has a breakthrough. Lovely. Yeah. Good. How does that feel? So easy. It's unbelievable. The reason why this training at the door is so effective is not just for safety, Wait. but it's teaching Wait. Lottie impulse control, Wait. and more importantly, Wait. it's teaching her to focus Wait. on her human owners Wait. rather than all the other distractions around her. Coming up, Lottie responds well to training in the garden. Yay! But in the woods, she gives Victoria a run for her money. Lottie! Which direction does she run off in? Lottie! Has Victoria finally met her match? Sarah and Jason can't fathom why they can never get Lottie back when she's let off the lead. So Victoria has set up a few pointers to explain. I want to show you something. And this is sort of indicative of Lottie's world when she comes out here to the cops. There you go. Now the reason why I've put all of these out here is that this is the most exciting place for her. When she comes to this cops, this is like the Garden of Eden. And so it's almost like you've got hands going, oh, come over here, oh, no, this way. Oh, no, look, over there, there's a rat. Oh, no, look, over there, there's a vault. Oh, wow, it's all fantastic. And then you're calling her, Lottie, Lottie. She could not give a rip. And that's the difficulty. How do you get her back when she's got all of this amazing stuff that she wants to do and find out? And the answer to that one is that it's really, really hard. But let's just try it. So um, I'm going to put a long training lead on her. What better way to lure back a tearaway terrier like Lottie than associating a whistle with the kind of nice, tasty rabbit she's looking for? Well, a rabbit skin on a sock on a piece of string. Good girl, good girl, what's that? What's that? Lottie responds remarkably well to the training and to the rabbit skin. Good girl. So Victoria ups the stakes and surreptitiously takes good off her girl. lead. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Victoria seems to have cracked it. But just when things are going well, Lottie makes a run for it. Which direction does she run off in? Oh, well, then we should be walking that way. Has Victoria finally met her match? Let's walk off in the direction that she was. Lottie! She was, uh, did, did you see her go out that way? Yeah. Let's just walk back in the direction where we were. After almost an hour's searching, it looks like Lottie may never come back. Lottie, come on! Just as they're about to give up hope, she reappears 
and is put straight back on her lead. So let's just keep her on the lead now. From now on, you can't let Lottie off the lead until you've trained at least a semi-reliable recall. So that means we just have to go back to basics. Sometime later, after finding a secure location with some Lottie-proof fencing, it's time for a second attempt, and Victoria is armed to the hilt. We know that she is a dog that will just go. Something has to be more exciting for her than chasing the real thing. So whistle means squeaky toy. Good girl, good girl, take it, good girl. Lottie! Using the squeaky toys with a whistle and praise, Victoria creates a strong and positive association with coming back. Go, go, go. Good girl. Good girl. And this time she achieves some impressive results. Good girl. Yeah, lovely. But now Sarah must master it. Go, go, take it. Wait for a lull. Wait. Till she drops it or something. Lizzie. What's this? That's it. Lovely. What's this? What's this? What's this? That's it. What's this? Perfect. What's this? What's this? What's this? Now she's focused on you. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good. Well done. With Lottie's recall tackled, Victoria moves on to the other big bone of contention, her continual destruction of Jason's garden. I'm angry that, um, like I said, I spent so much time and hard work out here. Victoria's got an unusual solution. This is Lottie's very own sand pit. Look at that. And what I've done is that I've hidden quite a few toys in there. Some toys are filled with food. And the object is to dig it up and get it out so that she gets all of her instinct, the, the digging instinct, out on this. So you have to encourage her to dig here yeah. and then praise her when she's digging. Good girl. Good girl. Can you get your rubber chicken? Good girl. What have you got? She loves that one, doesn't she? She's quite happy with that one. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here we go. <laughs> let her have her scats. It's so sweet. <laughs> What's this? What's that? With the sandpit a success, Victoria wants to tackle the tail chasing. Combining a stimulating tunnel game with her burrowing instinct will burn off some of Lottie's <laughs> overwhelming that. energy. Now, let's just see if she likes this. Go, go. Good girl. Good girl. Before Victoria leaves the Keiths to practice training Lottie on their own, she's keen to show them how obedient terriers can really be. She's arranged for a Hollywood film star to tread the boards at the end of the pier. Meet Greyfriars Bobby. He's the one on the left. Dog trainer Jerry Cott's been training dogs for film and TV for over 25 years, and he was also a founding member of the Boomtown Rats. His West Highland Terrier here has starred in countless movies. Bobby up. Stay. 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 Speak. Thank you. Brilliant. Victoria asks Jerry to give Jason some top terrier training tips. The main trick about this kind of beginning this training is, is creating a relationship. You see, we're best pals. Mm. I don't kind of go, you have to do this, you have to do that. You have... We're pals. And even sometimes when I'm teaching him something, I'll find my voice is just a little bit too hard as mm. opposed to soft. Jerry shows Jason how easy it is to communicate with an obedient dog. You ask him to sit. Sit. Ask him to speak. Speak. Good boy. It's been an inspiring trip to the theatre, 
but Victoria now has to leave the Keiths to two weeks of training practice by themselves. All the family work hard. Come on! Especially Jason. Lottie's door manners are coming along in leaps and bounds. Good girl. And even her recall has improved dramatically. Good girl. Two weeks later, Victoria's back. Will she be impressed with Lottie's progress? Wait. Hiya, come in. Wait. Very good. Good girl. That is amazing. Really good. Very good. I'm very impressed. And she's still sitting there. Things are very different in the garden, too. We've had no more digging. We have the sand pits available. She will dig and dig and dig, and then she comes in as a yellow dog rather than a black dog. Here's the big question. Has your relationship with Lottie improved? Definitely, as in... We've probably actually got a relationship now, whereas we didn't have before. Tell yeah. him the truth. <clears throat> what do you mean, tell him the truth? He's stolen my dog. Has <laughs> he? <Yeah. laughs> In their local park, Jason's got one final trick up his sleeve. Lottie, sis, sis, sis. Yeah. Good girl. Good Very girl. Good. good girl. Good girl. Leave it. Go on then, good girl. <gasps> Yay! That is really good. Mm. Yeah, sure. And look, he's got a smile on his face. And it's not just Victoria who's over the moon with Lottie's progress. The dog we've got now is amazing. She's more part of the family. I wouldn't think of going out somewhere and not taking her with us now. Do you think she's a clever dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the change in her over such a short period of time it is remarkable. Lottie's behaviour was putting a huge strain on this family previously, but with a little work and a little bit of love, this is now a calmer, happier household and a calmer, happier dog. No, I think it's pretty safe to say that she's, I think she's got a home for life. Good. Definitely.